Hi, good evening to all. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the topic called as the mirror and its types. So first, what is the meaning of the word mirror? It is a form of a highly polished, smooth, reflecting surface. Facing the surface of the mirror, how it will be there? It will be what a highly polished one, right? So the mirror we are dividing into two parts. One is the plane mirror, and another one is the spherical mirror. Again, we are dividing the spherical mirror into two parts. One is a concave mirror and another one is the convex mirror. So, what is the meaning of the word plane mirror? So, whenever the surface is in a form of a flat, right? That means you can call it as a straight. Those kinds of mirror will be calling it as the plane mirror. And then, what are the various characteristics of the image which has been formed by using the plane mirror? I will see over here. So the first character is there, the image which has been formed by the plane mirror will be virtual, virtual image. What is the meaning of the word virtual image? Normally we will be getting two types of images, one is a real image and another one is a virtual image. So what is that virtual image? So whenever the image which is forming, when the two reflected rays are appears to meet. Those kinds of images will be calling it as the virtual image. Where the two reflected rays are actually meeting, those are called as the real image. Always the plane mirror will form only the virtual image. And then how it is going to be there? It will be in a form of a erect. You can say it as a upright. The image will be in a form of upright. And then third thing is then based upon the size. If you are seeing over here, the size of the object is equal to the size of the image, right? Same size of the object. And then next character is about the distance. If you are saying the distance between the object and mirror is equal to the distance between the image and the mirror. Yeah, it will be in a form of an equal distance. The distance between the object and mirror is equal to the distance between the image and the mirror. And fourth, next character is then lateral inversion. Lateral inversion. So, what is the meaning of the word lateral inversion? Already in our lower class itself, we studied that one. That means the left side of the object is going to appear as the right side. And right side of the object is going to appear as the right side. So left side of the object will be appearing as the right side. And right side of the object will be appearing as the left side in the image. That means if I am rising my right hand in front of the mirror, my image will be assumes that it is rising the left hand. If I am rising my left hand in the object, my image is going to appear as that it is rising the left hand. That phenomena will be calling it as the lateral inversion. And then next one is about the spherical mirrors. So, what is the meaning of the word spherical? That means the surface is in a form of a curve. That means the spherical mirror means when the reflecting surface either it may be bent inwards or it may be bent outwards. Those kinds of mirror will be calling it as the spherical mirrors. Already we said that spherical mirrors are there. Two types are there. One is a concave and another one is the convex. So, what is the meaning of the word concave mirror? So then, when the reflecting surface of the mirror is bent inwards, so this side is going to be my reflecting surface, right? So whenever the reflecting surface is bent inwards, those kinds of mirror are called as the concave mirror. Okay? So then here I am sending a set of rays towards the mirror. Right. These rays are called as the incident ray. That means the ray which is moving towards the mirror. We know that after hitting the mirror, what will happen? Reflection will take place. Right? Reflection will take place. And the reflected rays will start to move towards a specific point and meet at this point. Right? So then we can call the concave mirror as a converging 
mirror. Concave mirror can also be called as converging mirror. And next type of mirror is called as a convex. So the, how that surface is going to be there? So when the reflecting surface is bent outwards, those kinds of mirror will be calling it as the convex mirror. Here also same. Here we are sending n number of rays towards the mirror, right? These rays will be calling it as the incident rays. That means a ray which is moving towards the mirror. After hitting the mirror, reflection will takes place. That means the ray here it will move outwards, right? That means it is moving in the different direction. That is the reason we will be calling the convex as a converging, sorry, diverging mirror and concave as a converging mirror. Yeah. So the spherical mirrors are of two types are there. One is the concave and another one is the convex. So what is the meaning of the word concave? Whenever the reflecting surface is bent inwards, those kinds of mirrors are called as the concave. Concave can also be called as converging mirror. Why? Because after reflection, all the reflected rays will meet at one specific point, right? And then convex. So what is the meaning of the word convex? So whenever the reflecting surface are bent outwards, those are called as the convex mirror. And then convex mirror can also be called as diverging mirror. Why we are calling that one as a diverging mirror? Because after reflection, all the reflected rays will move in different directions. That is the reason we will be calling the convex as a diverging mirror. Yeah, okay. Thank you to all. Up to this, we will end our session. In next, we will see in our next class. Yeah. Thank you.